I'm Tom, this is Lindsay. It's about 5.45 a.m. here in Grand Rapids, Michigan, and we're about to get on the Amtrak Pier Marquette 371 to Chicago. Now, we did this trip together exactly a year ago, so it's very special for us. So Charger is enough to make me happy, but then also, instead of the regular Superliner cars, because of COVID, they're using Amfleet, which I've never been on before, so I'm super excited. Ugh. These might actually be my favorite Amtrak cars, and I've never been on one, so we'll see. The train was made up of two Amfleet cars and two Horizon cars behind the Siemens Charger, and the conductor told us to get on in the Horizon cars. Hello. Sorry, I was talking to the conductor. So I was talking to the conductor outside. Um, turns out Amtrak actually sold out this summer on all its routes. So in order to keep up with the demand on the long haul routes they use the cars that are normally on this one and swap that out for this but they should be getting their cars back in the winter so let's take a look at these horizon seats first of all you can adjust the seat Push that button it actually goes back pretty far um, these are definitely amtrak seats very comfortable, very cushiony, very wide. Major difference with European trains. Nope. You can't spin them yourself. Lots of luggage space. Look at this. Got your tray table. There's no foot thing, that's alright. And then that's what the interior looks like. Charger is always important. You know I'm surprised to not see anything COVID related. No, I don't have any signs at all. wonder if those are lights. Mm -hmm. Ooh. We departed Grand Rapids promptly at 6 o'clock and then stopped three seconds later. Do you anticipate on time departure and arrivals this morning? Your safety is important to us. Please observe the emergency exit and instruction signs located throughout the train. We also ask that you take a moment to review the safety instructions card located in the seat. Well, I would read to ensure the comfort and safety of all customers, please do not sell luggage in the floor area surrounding the accessible seats. Luggage should be securely stored in the overhead or in the car luggage racks. The accessible seating areas must be readily available for customers. After Grand Rapids, the Pier Marquette stops in Holland, Bangor, and Benton Harbor, St. Joseph, all in western Michigan before going on to Chicago. Because this was shot in October, the first light started appearing right after Bangor, although we'd still have to wait a little bit for sunrise. I decided to stretch my legs a little bit and explore more of the Horizon cars, so I walked to the back expecting to be able to open the door to the fourth car. Here's a bathroom. I've already done an Amtrak bathroom review. If you want to see that, click on the link above. So they're actually not using the car I'm in right now. This is for conductors only. 
So, exclusive peek at the conductor's car. From the back window, there was a beautiful view of the fall colors, and the straight tracks together with the pretty trees made for the perfect time lapse. And right before Benton Harbor St. Joseph, there's the sunrise! Because Chicago is in central time, I changed my watch when we crossed into the border with Indiana. I went to get Lindsay a coffee, but secretly I also wanted to see what the Amfleet cars look like from the inside. This door opened no problem, walked from Horizon car to Amfleet car, and there it is. I guess because they're so round on the outside, I was expecting a rounder interior. They definitely look different, but not as round as I would thought. I walked through the Amfleet passenger car because the first car, right behind the Charger locomotive, was the cafe car. Once we entered Indiana, our tracks run parallel to the tracks of the South Shore Line. A commuter rail service operated by NICTD, the South Shore Line uses electric traction between Chicago, Illinois and South Bend, Indiana. Now the other Amtrak Michigan services, Wolverine and Blue Water, use their own dedicated Amtrak tracks, but the Pier Market uses tracks owned by freight companies CSX and NS. Sometimes the traffic leaders let their Freight trains go first and Amtrak trains get huge delays, but we didn't have that problem this morning. The area inside Indiana is very industrial and you can see a lot of freight trains here. Soon we could catch our first glimpse of the Chicago skyline and we were so excited. In front of Union Station there are a lot of Metra trains in a yard. Metra is the main commuter railway provider in the Chicagoland area. Once we enter that tunnel, we had arrived at Union Station. And I noticed that pretty much everybody gets off in Chicago, not in one of the other Michigan cities. So this service really is meant for people to go from West Michigan to Chicago. We were welcomed by a welcome committee of pigeons. We got our CTA day passes, so we're taking the L. But to see our adventures on the L, you'll have to watch our next video, in which we visit the craziest intersection on the Chicago L. We did a bunch of the touristy things, we rented bikes, we visited the zoo, which is free, and we had an amazing dinner right under the Willis Tower before it was time to take Pier Marquette 370 back to Grand Rapids. Back on Pier Marquette 370, bound for Grand Rapids. Uh, how many steps did we walk? Like 26,000. 26, um, so we're kind of tired. It's getting dark out, but we've had a great day. We love Chicago, and unless something extraordinary happens, this is where we're going to end the video. Thanks so much for watching and joining us on our Chicago adventure today. Please remember to subscribe to Trains Are Awesome, and we'll see you next time.